Hey guys, um, so I'm looking a little bit messed up today. My hair is looking a little funny. But, um, so yeah, I was gonna do uh, another Fuck You Friday vlog. This'll do, this'll be my second one. Um, I'm gonna do it on, uh, this one is just a short bitch unless I think about another bitch along the way. But, um, we have a local grocery store in town. And it's called Lowe's. It used to be IGA Van Winkles. And, um, they used to, they have a tortilla, tortilla there. They make tor fresh tortillas and shit, you know, bag them up. And they used to be like great when I was little. And um, <clears throat> I remember when I was little, uh, you know, they would put like the little cellophane shit between them. And they wouldn't stick together and they were like of uniform size and you would heat them up and they wouldn't get all flaky and shit. And like now everywhere in town you can't get a good tortilla. And it's really pissing me off because, um, when I was little, you know, there was, like, all these baked goods stores in town and shit, and, um, I don't know. Now, anymore, just not really. Our town has gotten pretty fucking shitty. Um, but, yeah, the new tortillas that they make, they, it used to be IJ Van Winkles. It's, um, uh, it's just Lowe's now. Um, but the tortillas that they make, they're good, but, um, you heat them up and they start, like, peeling off in layers, and it's just all, like, just, it's just not good. Um... And it's kind of hard to rip, rip, uh, wrap a burrito because it kind of rip open and all this. And what is going on with my hair? God damn. Anyway, okay. So, um, but, uh, although, uh, I live in Alamogordo, New Mexico. It's in the southern part of New Mexico. I don't know if any of you guys have heard about this place. Um, it's about an hour away from Las Cruces, about an hour away from El Paso, Texas. Um, it's a small, a very, very small town. Uh, I think there's something like 40,000 of us here, or else I could be completely wrong. I'm not really good with uh, guesstimating, but I've heard it before, and you think I'd know, but I really don't. Um, but it's kind of a small town. It's grown on me, uh, and so is New Mexico, but I can't wait to get the hell out of here, um, at least for a while. Um, but our town is growing a little bit as far as restaurant-wise, because they've always kept this town as a drive through town. And uh, we have a main street that's called White Sands Boulevard. And there's a lot of hotels, a lot of banks, a lot of gas stations, a lot of fast food restaurants on that street. And it all you have to do is just take one of the three exits into town, and you get right on that street, and you can go all the way on that street, um, all the way, what would that be, north, um, and just keep on going upstate. Which is awesome for travelers, because we have a lot of amenities for travelers, but as far as for the folks living here in town, there's really no, like, fantastic restaurants, there's not... Um, there's just not much in this town. There's not much culture in Alamogordo. Um, but that's another thing that pisses me off, too, is towns with no culture, because, um, I, I don't know, culture is a big thing. Like, Santa Fe, New Mexico, there's a lot of culture there. Um, there's not a wide variety of people here, either. We have a military base that's right near us, and, you know, big ups for the military. I love the military and everything that they do. Um, but it it makes things monotonous around the towns that are around military bases. You can ask somebody else, too, who lives near a military base. Uh, there's not a lot of culture in those towns near military bases because there's so much culture concentrated in that military base because there's continuous, you know, there's Italians, there's Germans, there's everybody in and out of the space that there's not really a culture that can build. Although we do have an Oktoberfest here every year, which is fucking fantastic. Um, the Germans brought that here. <clears throat> anyway, yada yada. So uh, there's a place, uh, I was talking about restaurants, new restaurants opening up in town. And uh, there's a place up the street. It's called My Mother's Place, I believe. And they have like, they're always packed, like always, always packed. So I'm guessing that their food is pretty good. It has to be pretty good. Uh, but they're open kind of like odd hours. They're one of those restaurants that are open from like, I think 10 to 2 and then like, uh, maybe only 10 to 2. I don't know, but they're open kind of weird hours, you know, only for lunch and dinner. And then they have a space there where they're not open. Um, and another place right up the street from me, actually on the same street that I live on, uh, it's right up the street in downtown and it, uh, is, I can't remember what it's called. They don't have a sign up or anything yet, but apparently it's a four star restaurant, which is fantastic to bring to our town because that might bring out some of the people, I don't know, it just might bring more people, more interest to our town. Because right now, I imagine if you drive through our town, there's not a lot of interest. You know, there's a Taco Bell, a McDonald's, a Wendy's, an Arby's, banks, banks, gas stations, and, like, nothing to see in this town. So, yeah. Um, 
and I guess last time I'm going to show you guys my makeup. I just did a really simple black smoky eye today. I just have a uh, black color on. The black has a really, really light gold glitter in it. It sounds really ugly, but it's not. Uh, and then I have a white highlighter on. And my pink eyebrows. Um, the other day I was dyeing my friend's hair and I told her, oh yeah, I'm going to dye my eyebrows, bah ha ha, you know. And I don't think she really took me seriously. And I wasn't really taking myself seriously. And then I was like, nah, fuck it. So I said, watch me do it. And I did. And they're pretty awesome. I think, wow, they're kind of coming out red on camera. But yeah. And this is my makeup for today. It's pretty awesome. And I don't have any lip color on right now. But you guys have fun. And I'll be posting again soon. Bye.